Good afternoon. I'm Amin Tabro, president of Bowie State University. Welcome to the launch of the Social Justice Alliance that marks a new beginning in the relationship between Bowie State University and the University of Maryland as we seek to address critical issues facing our campuses, communities, and the nation. I want to thank President Darrell Pines and his predecessor, Dr. Wallace Lowe, for advancing this initiative and at the urging of Mr. and Mrs. Collins in the aftermath of the death of our Bowie State University Bulldog, First Lieutenant Richard Collins III. It is my honor to carry the torch on behalf of Bowie State University campus community, ensuring that the legacy of Lieutenant Collins continues on at BSU for generations of learners. I want to thank Dawn and Richard Collins II for their continued presence and commitment to the success of students attending Bowie State University. They have suffered in the loss of their son, yet continue his legacy with the Richard Collins III Foundation and their efforts to achieve a more just society. Today, with the formation of this alliance, we take another big step forward to create a more just future in honor of First Lieutenant Collins. I'm going to stop here and welcome President Darrell Pines of the University of Maryland. Thank you, President Bro. That was a very emotional video that we just saw and witnessed, but it was truly an honor to reflect the life of Lieutenant Collins. My name is Darrell Pines and I'm the 34th president of the University of Maryland. I started on July 1st, 2020, and I've been a member of this community for over 25 years. You mentioned President Bro carrying the torch to honor the legacy of Lieutenant Collins. I too will carry forward this torch. This social justice work that we're about to align along will be important and timely. I'm really truly honored to be here with you today. Thank you. Thank you, President Pines. Bowie State University is ready to move forward as quickly as possible to work with you and your campus along with Second Richard Collins the Third Foundation on these very important programs and activities. More than ever, this newly formed alliance needed to address critical issues facing our society. The more than ever, I have to tell you, the economic, social, racial divide is increasingly pulling our communities apart and challenging our country. It was James Baldwin who once said, nothing, not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it is faced. Those words ring true as much today as they did when he wrote that statement back in 1962. Today, in our country, we must face up to the plight of so many disenfranchised citizens who do not see themselves in what has been called the American dream. This year, in the face of COVID-19 that has ravaged our communities and highlighted economic and healthcare disparities, we are here today to say change must happen, and it starts with us. We must face the reality that over 13 million people, 10.5% of the United States population are food insecure. We know of the disparities in our social, in our justice system, where African-Americans make up about 33% of the prison population, triple the percentage of African-Americans in the general population. And we know all too well through the images we have seen this year and the need for training and policy reform to help police regain the trust of the communities they serve. Also, we know that women are growing in the workforce, yet still earn just 82 cents for every dollar earned by men of all races, according to the Center for American Progress. Yes, today, we are facing these issues head on so we can shed light on the responsibility we each have to understand and respond with our voices, actions, and deeds. Today, we are taking a stand and bringing our two campuses together to lead the way to address these and other disparities that exist in our society by engaging our students and communities to bring about the change we want to see in our country. You will hear from the faculty and staff working on the Alliance and the strategies under development to meet this mission. They will share how our two universities are committed to facing head on 
the plight of our country and will begin to arm our universities and communities with the tools for healing and uniting. In the aftermath of Lieutenant Cullen's death, Bowie State University established the Lieutenant Richard Cullen's III Social Justice Endowed Scholarship that grew from the outpouring of donations in his honor immediately after the tragedy from both university communities and the public. It is my commitment to his family, our university, and to the country that his death will not be in vain. The scholarship will support students with a demonstrated commitment to civic engagement and the concepts of social justice. And each day on this campus, we prepare our students with the knowledge, skills, and tools they need to stand up boldly, to engage in this society, and to use their knowledge and skills to contribute to the betterment of others and the well being of our country. That is our legacy as the first historically black college and university in the state of Maryland, with an obligation to honor those who have gone before and endured many struggles, yet paved the way. I thank all involved in this new joint endeavor for what you have done and will do to lead the way toward greater social justice. Thank you. President Pines. Thank you, Dr. Bro, and thank you to state's attorney Aisha Braveboy for joining us today. <clears throat> Distinguished faculty and staff who are supporting the Alliance, thank you for your commitment and joining us to launch our joint initiative. Thank you to our student leaders who we will hear from later today, Derek and Zara for inspiring us all. And most of all, thank you to the Collins family. Mr. and Mrs. Collins, your partnership in carrying out the legacy work of your son means everything to our campus community. Offering remarks today is deeply personal for me. When Lieutenant Richard Collins III was murdered on our campus in 2017, I grieved. Like so many other black men, I saw myself in Richard. But more importantly, I also saw my son in Richard, who's about the same age. I remember that Congressman Anthony Brown spoke on our campus not long after this tragedy. And he told us that he too saw himself in Lieutenant Collins. Many among us saw our, all our, saw ourselves in him, including all of our Maryland students. We see ourselves in him because Lieutenant Richard Collins III was dedicated to service. And now it is our turn, our honor to serve him. We serve him through the Social Justice Alliance that we are announcing today. And I'm incredibly proud that the University of Maryland will join Bowie State University in this ambitious and meaningful effort. We also serve him through the formation of a scholarship in his honor at the University of Maryland's campus. The Lieutenant Richard W. Collins III Scholarship will provide financial support for students to pursue their academic goals with special consideration for members of the ROTC at the University of Maryland. And we will serve Lieutenant Collins through a physical memorial at the University of Maryland campus, which we will dedicate with the Collins family in the near future. It is now my pleasure to turn the microphone back to my colleague, President Bro. Thank you, President Pines. It is more than clear that we are in agreement on the collaborative goals and vision of this social justice alliance. So it is now time to sign the document certifying our commitment to preserving the legacy of First Lieutenant Richard Collins III. Let's hear from our student and faculty now for their plans about this incredible alliance. Thank you so much for being here today. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how about you? Nice to meet you. Good, nice to meet you too. Thank you, um, I'm Derek Hinton, senior biology major, I currently serve as a Greek Leadership Council president at Bowie State University. 
I'm Zara Sadiq, and I'm a junior kinesiology major, and I'm president of NAACP at my campus. I definitely feel like the alliance between both of our schools will impact both of our communities, faculty, staff, students, in like a plethora of ways because um, y'all are so close to us. And I feel like we're both very connected, but also not at the same time that we stay separate. So I do feel like this alliance will help bring our communities together. And like my work with NAACP and your work with the Greeks will like, I guess, become more fluid rather than separate. And therefore, I guess, bring not only just awareness, but also like inclusivity between both of our communities so we can get to know each other and also establish like that foundation and relationship with each other. And I feel like with this alliance, we'll have a much bigger impact of like mm. making sure things like this don't ever happen again. Right. And like you said, like it's a shame that it had to start this way, but I feel like we have more than like the power needed to make sure it doesn't happen again. Of course. Yeah. State and the University of Maryland, um I don't I don't see what we couldn't couldn't do in Maryland. Right. Like we can buy so much legislative change that can be the outlines for federal bills and things like that. Like, say if our school came together, our our student advocacy group and your student advocacy group came together, which we're actually already doing, right. to make environmental change. Like, <laughs> no differences. Like, we're already making those strides to make those changes. And I feel like this social justice alliance is going to spark that hunger. And mm-hmm. student, because once you come in through those doors and there's curriculums on... We have the social justice alliance. Mm-hmm. The social justice is is how you can make your impact. And that's freshman seminar classes. I wish I had that for my freshman seminar. Me too. Uh-huh. I feel like the possibilities are really endless between mm-hmm. both of us. It was great talking to you. Um, great talking to you too. Young woman. Um, I'm excited to see what we can do in the future. Mm-hmm. Hello, I'm Dr. Charles Adams, Chair of the Department of Behavior Sciences and Human Services at Bowie State University. First Lieutenant Richard Collins III, life, was a reminder that the colors of patriotism are not only red, white, and blue, but black and brown as well. African Americans fighting for and defending a democracy that has often excluded them from receiving full rights and protection from its constitution is not often discussed in the context of American patriotism. First Lieutenant Collins was a true patriot who dedicated his life to defend liberty and uphold the principles of our democracy in the true spirit of social justice. As a soldier, he was willing to give his life in defense of this country and our Constitution. But he was also aware that America has fallen short on his promise of equality for all. He believed that the manner in which he lived his life could move America slightly closer to a more perfect union. It is this belief that America can be better, which is the driving force behind social justice movements. Our living constitution requires soldiers like First Lieutenant Richard Collins to defend it, and yet we still need socially conscious individuals to ensure that it honors the promise of equality for all. Within the Social Justice Alliance, the living spirit of First Lieutenant Richard Collins III will lift our collective voices to inspire, educate, and train generations of social justice advocates to bring true democracy to this country. Our students will embrace political advocacy, social activism, and social engagement to combat hate and inequality. Social justice calls upon us to acknowledge cultural and racial differences, but we need to understand that there is equality in our differences. First Lieutenant Richard Collins' death and the recent events unfolding in this country are stark reminders of the long row ahead for a more perfect union. But I'm confident that we will overcome. Thank you. Hello, I'm Zita Nunes, a professor in the English department at the University of Maryland College Park. I first met Mrs. Collins when she invited me to join her for a coffee in December 2018. She had wanted to thank me and through me, the over 500 people, students, faculty, staff, who had written condolence cards during a one-hour period at the beginning of that fall semester. We had all been horrified 
by the murder of Lieutenant Collins, and we wanted to acknowledge the great loss and the family's grief. It seemed to us such a small gesture for a murder that had taken place on our campus. Over the hour and a half that Mrs. Collins and I spoke at that cafe, I learned about the extraordinary person her son was, how much he is loved and missed, and about the family's determination to remember him by doing as much good in the world as they possibly can. At the time of our conversation, the case against the murderer had just entered the courts, and the woeful state of hate crime legislation in Maryland had become clear. We talked about the critical need to educate on this issue. I soon discovered that Mrs. Collins is all about action. Within days, she had put me in touch with Mr. Brent Swinton at Bowie State University, who in short order put together an incredible team. And we all worked to organize an event at BSU, bringing together communities from both campuses and the Collins family to honor Lieutenant Collins. This event was also an opportunity for speakers to educate us about hate crime, its history, its impact, and what we can do to correct legislation. That event sowed the seeds for the BSU-UMD collaboration and the huge achievement by the Collins family, the second Lieutenant Richard W. Collins III Foundation and their legislative and organizational partners to pass this landmark law. Hi, I'm Dr. Rayshawn Ray. I'm a professor of sociology at the University of Maryland in College Park. I'm also a member of the Justice Alliance between Bowie State and UMD. And I happen to be a proud member of the Lieutenant Richard W. Collins III Foundation Advisory Board. I'm honored to serve in these capacities. What happened at the University of Maryland at College Park on our campus is something that we will never get over, but we can aim to address what caused it. That's part of what this alliance is doing, and that's part of what the foundation is aiming to do at its core. As the father of two black boys, I can only imagine what the Collins family, Mr. and Mrs. Collins in particular, Lieutenant Collins' sister and the rest of his family has had to go through over these past few years but I do know what we're aiming to do about it. Not only has the Lieutenant Richard W. Collins III law passed, stating that individuals cannot use race or any other protected clause in any form to discriminate or treat someone a particular way. And if they do, that will be considered a hate crime. This legislation is gonna set path forward in the state of Maryland and also throughout the rest of the country. We also know that from the state of Maryland, that scholarships are being awarded to members of ROTC who are, who are at historically black colleges and universities in the state. The foundation also has its own scholarship being given out to individuals who are engaging in social justice. Because one thing that we know that what happened to Lieutenant Collins should never happen again, not just on college campuses, but anywhere. And in order to do that, we have to actually direct, directly aim to dismantle white nationalism and white supremacy. And that's part of what the foundation is aiming to do. This Justice Alliance will bring together our county and our state. And we know that the presidents, President Pines and President Bro, will continue to lead us forward. Good afternoon. My name is Kometa Harrison and I'm the lead for the Bowie State University Alliance team. As an educator for over 25 years, my research and experiences are in diversity and disability studies and social justice. I am honored to be leading this team and collaborating with Dr. Georgina Dodge and the UMD team. The Bowie State University and University of Maryland Social Justice Alliance is devoted to leading the charge in eradicating the ideology of intolerance. We are committed to empowering individuals towards social justice, and equality for all. Through this alliance, the legacy light and spirit of Second Lieutenant Richard Collins III will forever command the mission of this collaboration. In our first collaborative meeting, the synergy between the two teams was dedicated to making sure that the fight for social justice and equality 
will be embedded in all aspects of the campus community. Our teams are composed of faculty, students, and staff with expertise in making a difference and who stand for equality. The Alliance will establish a Center for Social Justice to be housed on the campus of BSU, but engage faculty from both universities in research and work to champion social justice policies. Work is already underway to integrate social justice principles, concepts, and strategies into interdisciplinary learning opportunities for first and second year students at Bowie State and Maryland. The Collins tragedy is an ongoing reminder for current and future students to fight against hate and injustice. And the tragedy is personal for both campuses. This alliance will keep the legacy of Lieutenant Collins alive and bind Bowie State University, the University of Maryland, and the second Lieutenant Richard Collins III Foundation in this common cause. I am Dr. Georgina Dodge, the Vice President for Diversity and Inclusion at the University of Maryland College Park. As a military veteran, I am honored to be part of this event that recognizes and celebrates the legacy of Lieutenant Richard Collins III. I am strengthened that as memory brings us together, the University of Maryland College Park, Bowie State University, and the second Lieutenant Richard Collins III Foundation. Today we recognize that two institutions within the University System of Maryland, which are separated geographically by only a few miles, will join together in partnership to battle societal injustice. This is a fight in which we must all participate. I look forward to working collaboratively with Dr. Kamita Hairston, Dr. Charles Adams, and other members of the Social Justice Alliance Committee and the Bowie State University community. Together with the second Lieutenant Richard Collins III Foundation, we want to have a positive impact on our region and well beyond. As we move forward with future plans, we foresee developing and establishing events that will invite larger community participation. While the COVID-19 pandemic will prevent us from gathering in large numbers anytime soon, technology will provide us with an opportunity to expand our reach and, we hope, make our events more accessible for community members. Because tackling social injustice affects every one of us, Lieutenant Collins's life has touched every one of us. We plan to offer at least two seminars each semester focused on the theme of social justice hosted by either Bowie or Maryland. This will enable us to come together to learn about the issues that impact us today as well as their historical origins. We will also host an annual conference that will expand upon the symposium created by Dr. Nunez and others who like Lieutenant Collins, established a bridge between our two universities. The National Conference will feature prominent speakers working at the forefront of social justice, as well as other activities that invite community participation. And finally, we will establish an annual award to recognize outstanding achievements in addressing issues of social justice. Again, I am proud to have a role in this important initiative and partnership, and I am honored that we will memorialize Lieutenant Richard Collins III through the pursuit of social justice. Hello, I'm Aisha Brave Boy, State's Attorney for Prince George's County. I want to first congratulate Dr. Aminta Bro, President of Bowie State University, and Daryl Pines, President of my alma mater, University of Maryland at College Park, for this historic partnership. Earlier this year, we worked together to pass the second Lieutenant Richard Collins III hate crime statute. This statute is extremely important because it gives prosecutors greater tools to hold people accountable for hate crimes in the state of Maryland. 
we look forward to working uh, with these two universities to train the next generation of social justice warriors. We also look forward to working with the family of now First Lieutenant Richard Collins III as we continue the conversation around racial reconciliation and criminal justice reform. So congratulations. Today starts an amazing partnership which we know will change Maryland for the better. Good afternoon. We count it a privilege and an honor to be here today to recognize this momentous occasion with the alliance of Bowie State University and the University of Maryland College Park. We know through education, our minds can be expanded. We believe that this is the only way that these things or these ills in our country will be solved. We believe that we are just a microcosm of what the future holds. Rick and I are hoping and believing that this will be a model that will be taken across the country for a predominantly white institution along with a historically black institution coming together and speaking about the ills associated with social justice. So it is our vision as a part of the Second Lieutenant Richard W. Collins III Foundation that this event today will be the beginning of an effort that will be replicated throughout the nation in order to address those social justice issues and issues concerning what it means to be a citizen in this nation can be adequately communicated and give outlet for those individuals to have a better understanding of just what it means to be a citizen. We're grateful for all of the wonderful people that have been involved in this effort and we look forward as we head into the future that this will be the very beginning of an opportunity for healing across this nation at a time where healing is so vitally important. We're very grateful for this opportunity and we ask that you continue to follow us throughout our website. Also, I'd like to add that we thank the state's attorney for her tireless effort in helping us with passage of the law of the second Lieutenant Richard W. Collins III hate crime law that will be enacted in full force on October 1. It is important to us that this law serves as a model for other laws across the country and other states so that we can truly fulfill the purpose of this nation to become a more perfect union. That is the goal of the, and the mission of this foundation. We fight for Lieutenant Richard Collins III. He was a jewel in the crown of democracy. Mr. and Mrs. Collins, I, along with President Pines, thank you and the second Lieutenant Richard Collins III Foundation for stepping forward to help lead during these challenging and difficult times. In the face of tragedy, you have endured and helped the nation recognize that your loss is a loss to us all. Your son and our bulldog, a member of our own ROTC battalion, was unable to finish his mission. But through this alliance, we will win out and hate will not win out. The enactment of the new second Lieutenant Richard Collins III law also provides us with that new tool in the toolbox to fight hate. I applaud State's Attorney Aisha Braveboy and the Maryland Legislature for passing that law. Before closing today, I would be remiss if I didn't take this opportunity to remind everyone to vote in the upcoming November 3rd election. This is our most powerful way to demonstrate our commitment to the ideals of equality and justice in our democracy. Thank you all for joining today's ceremony. Stay well and may God bless and may God bless America.